Uh, but welcome, guys. Thank you. Um, again, we're, we're looking, you know, we're just, we just kind of want to have some fun, talk some football today. I will give you the floor. I want you to introduce the three gentlemen you decided to bring with you today and maybe uh, give us a little something about each one that we should walk away with today. Sure. Uh, super excited about this group. This is three of our four captains. Our other captain, Charles County, is actually at the SAC retreat um, this weekend. So i um, excited about the leadership on this team. These guys have played a lot of football. We were a young team last year which is always exciting because now you should be veterans. And uh, Wyatt Strand, starting quarterback, has started 33 games for us uh, out of Logan, New Mexico. Played both six- and eight-man football in high school. So the first time he played 11-man was with the Greyhounds. Been a four-year starter for us. Uh, you know, he changes a lot of my plays. So, um, <laughs> But I trust him to do that, and uh, he, he does a great job. So we're excited about him. Noah Schweitzer from uh, El Dorado High School. Um, was all conference linebacker for us, started, and uh, we're expecting a lot of really big things from him. And then Paul Terry's our, our fullback out of, we already talked about, Amarillo Canyon, uh, Randall. And uh, he's, uh, you know, just shy of a 1,000-yard rusher, and we're expecting big seasons. One thing I know about Paul is he almost had 1,000 yards, and he was a little disappointed with the Ooh. season. So he's really worked hard, and we're expecting big things out of him this year. Well, you know, we're looking forward to seeing what, what you are able to do as well. What is it, third year? Yes, ma'am. With the program? Year. So how have you seen things kind of evolve into what you'd like them to be by this point? Well, I think we've got a good culture. Um, we got kids working hard. Uh, we were the Lone Star Conference uh, academic champion, highest GPA for the third straight year, six out of the last seven. So um, these guys are all great students, and we've got good kids in our program, and um, proud of what they've accomplished and just want to see uh, really get over that hump. We've won a conference championship. We've been in bowl games. Um, you know, we really like to get over that hump. It's tough in this conference because there's so many great players, so many great coaches. But, you know, that's where our sights are set and, you know, where we're all rowing in the same direction. I love the tidbit here on why. I didn't know you played six-man and eight-man. We, of course, cover six-man here in Texas, and it's so much fun because it is so different. So what was that transition like going to 11-man? Oh, I, I, I tell you, the really the biggest thing, because people always ask me that, is going from eight-man to 11-man. Um, is it different having more people out there? But really the biggest thing was just the speed of everybody. I mean, in high school, it can make one guy miss and score, but now you have defensive linemen as fast as you are. So, I mean, it's just a big – that was the biggest difference for me. How have you seen, um, how has Coach Lee and, and his staff helped you? Oh, it's been a blessing. It truly has been a blessing. Um, Coach Lee has all the trust in me, and I, I have all the belief in, all, in our staff. Uh, we're very prepared. I've never met a coach that's been more prepared than Coach Lee. Um, we watch, we go through hours and hours of film every day, so uh, it's just amazing. Uh, the defense is doing good. Noah's doing good. Paul's an All-American. So, I mean, we're just expecting great things this year. Hopefully our offensive line, we've got some good guys coming back. We're going to set the tone there. So, just excited this year. Got great coaching staff. Got a great president at the school. So, it's just, and we've got a great fan base, too. And that stadium's amazing, too. So, absolutely, it's, it's just awesome. Great culture. They all are. This is the very D1-esque Division II conference is what we call it. So, I know the ground strike offense is big with you guys. How is this one on the end going to play into that this year? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we we are, like Coach Lee said, we're expecting big things out of Paul this year. Um it's like Coach said, he wasn't super satisfied with, I think it was like 980-something yards last year. And, uh, I mean, fullbacks in our offense a lot of times have a good chance of being, I mean, offensive conference player of the year. So um, we're expecting good things out of him, expecting him to be an All-American again. So just expecting good things from Paul and Noah. So, Well, you're so much fun to watch. All, all of you are, but, but you, who do you like to model your game after? Uh, I've kind of been modeling my game after, like, Ezekiel Elliott and then – Kind of cliche, but Saquon Barkley. Uh, they kind of just playmakers on the field, kind of explosive players. I um, think I'm also an explosive player, just trying to be like them. Um, just, just make the plays I know I can make and uh, make the plays my teammates know I can make. Paul, have you seen Coach Lee and his staff uh, kind of evolve this program, change it for the better? Uh, well, so – our, uh, his first year, we went 8-2, and two, and that was a big year for us. And then uh, we kind of had our sour taste in our mouth last year. Um, we had the players we needed, but, I mean, just kind of weren't bought into what Coach Lee was saying and stuff. So just trying to get uh, the culture back, winning culture again, and uh, just make them look good. Noah, we haven't forgotten about you, I promise. <laughs> Listen, you're leading that defense, man. Everyone's looking to you this year. 
what, what's the mindset? What are you telling each other right now? Oh, we're just uh, working hard. You know, we had a good turnout this summer, and, you know, uh, our guys work hard each day, and uh, the defense, I know we're excited to get out there and uh, st try to showcase what we've been working for. Well, how about for you? How did you see Coach Lee come in and, and change the culture of Eastern New Mexico football? Oh, I mean, just like how Wyatt was say saying, um, you know, he's so prepared each and every week. There's a script to every detail of the game, every detail of the day. And, you know, as a player, that makes it easy. And, um, you know, he's a good guy to follow. And, you know, Coach Walton, too, um, he's a good guy. And he always has us prepared and um, just are so blessed to have good coaches. Well, Coach, I'll ask you. Noah here led the team with 90 tackles and 13 tackles for loss last season. Um, how would you best describe him, describe him as a linebacker and, and how he is able to do what he does out there? Uh, he's very patient out there. He reads well, and uh, once he reads, he reacts. He goes to the football. He goes 100 miles an hour, and he's got a lot of confidence, confidence in his ability, and you can see that. And uh, he grew throughout the season um, as he got more comfortable with what his fits were supposed to be with the new defensive scheme. And at the end of the year, he was last four or five games, he was really playing great football. And I know he's been watching a ton of film, and um, he's got goals set up for him every step of the way, planned out this summer and in the fall. And so we're expecting a big year out of Noah. Okay, catch me up, too. I know with WT was the wagon wheel. Yes, ma'am. Where do we stand right now? I, I really do need to be caught up. What, what's, like, the last few years since you've taken over? We've won six out of the last seven. Uh-oh. So we're kind of a long stretch. We're, we're, we're ahead in the thing now, 17, <laughs> uh, 17, uh, 17 and 16 in that rivalry. But with all, uh, that's a great rivalry. I it mean, that's, I tell people all the time, that's one of the best things about playing football at Eastern New Mexico. It's I've, I've coached a lot of different levels, and there, there's really no rivalry like it. It's unique, and, and uh, you know, it's exciting. And it's, 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 if you ask all these guys, it's their favorite game of the year. Well, where are we going to roll it? The, the, Kimbrough had the hill, and you would roll the wagon wheel down the hill. Where are we going to do that at the New Buff Stadium, I wonder? Oh, okay. <laughs> well said from okay. Coach Hughes there. Listen, we are so looking forward to it, and can't thank you guys enough for being here today. Best of luck Thank this you season. so much. Thank, thank you, man. Thank you.